Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will learn about the another important concept that is brace expansion. So we have learned about the different ways of path name expansion. We have seen it. Now in this video, we will learn about the brace expansion. So what is this brace expansion? Brace expansion is a handy feature in the Linux shell that lets you generate multiple strings or variations of commands quickly and efficiently. Think of it as a clever shortcut for when you need to handle similar pieces of text. So here I will try to explain you some with simple examples. So for example, let's say that I want to create files in a such a way that so I, the files name should be file underscore a dot txt. Okay, and it should be file underscore b dot txt. And the last one should be file underscore c dot txt. So these are the three files I want to create. Normally what you will try to do, you will use the touch and you will try to create it. So but using the brace expansion, we can create it very easily. So you will use the touch command and the common thing is file underscore and here the name is changing a b c. So you can use the brace and here you can write a comma b comma c and you can give something like txt. That's it. So now you will be able to see the touch file underscore a and file underscore b and file underscore c. So these three files will be created. If you try to press enter and if you see ls here, see file underscore a, file underscore b, file underscore c has been created. I will try to show you the echo also so that we can able to see instead of creating, we can able to see it like this. See, so like this, the combination, it will be created. So this is the usage of this one. This creates the three files that is file underscore a, file underscore b and file underscore c. So these three files will be created. So like this, the files will be created. So if you try to see here, sorry, it is logged out. So here like this, the files will be created. So this is the usage of this braces thing. Not only this one. So we can also create the directories. We can also create um, the files also. For example, if you want to create directories in some uh, in some other directory means, so let's say that um, mkdir, I want to create in Leela. Okay. So Leela slash and if I want to use something like pictures in this one, I want to create videos and I want to create a music. So if you want to create it like this, then you'll get an error normally. Why? Because normally the Leela directory is not present. The Leela directory is not present. So for this one, if you try to remember this one, we have used an option, something like hyphen P I think. So if you try to see here now, the directory will be created. So if you try to use this hyphen P, if that directory is not available, it will create the directory and inside this directory, it will create pictures, videos and also the music. If you try to see here, LS Leela, then you will be able to see, oh, it's my mistake. What I have read. So in the Leela, I want to create pictures comma. So, okay, okay. I have used this, uh, this one, right? So my mistake. So let's try to do it again so comma i know it i don't i should not use so this coding mistake actually so if you try to see here now pictures videos and music will be created so this one is my coding mistake if i use semicolon or if i use brace or anything means my mistake that uh, object when i am trying to declare object or anything i will give a space after the comma so this makes three new directories within the leela directory pictures videos and the music so like this not only this one so we can also have a number sequences also. For example, let's say that I will remove this uh, Leela directory. Okay. Now here I want to create. Okay. So I want to create file and e underscore. So from one to nine. So that means the file should be something like uh, file underscore one, file underscore two, file underscore three, file underscore four. Like that I want to create it. So one underscore underscore nine. I want to create dot txt. If you try to see here. See, automatically I am trying to do the echo. I am not doing this uh, uh, MKDA or a touch uh, file, touch command I am not using. Just I am echoing so that you, so that you can visualize that uh, thing what it will be happening. So file underscore one, file underscore two, file underscore three. So like this, the files will be created. So this is how it will be created. So if you are using dot dot nine means then the range from one to nine, it will be created. So this is how you will be having. So now if you try to do echo, 1.5 means so from 1 to 5 it will be uh, the numbers will be displayed from 1 to 5 so this is thing so not only this one so you can have a letter ranges also 
for example if i want to have lettering just means a to d if you try to print a b c d you will be able to get it so like this also you can have it so this out to apd so now you can also use the combining options so for example let's say that i want to create files in such a way that file file 1 underscore new file 1 underscore old file 1 file 2 underscore new file 2 underscore old so like that if i want to create means then i can use file so here i want to create 1 2 3 and then afterwards immediately i want to have underscore and now world comma new dot txt so like this now what it will be happen so if you try to observe carefully so file 1 with a combination first it will take the 1 and world so file 1 underscore world and next file 1 underscore new so like this the options will be created if you try to see here file 1 underscore world file 1 underscore new file 2 underscore world file 2 underscore new so this is how you can also use the combination of the op options to in order to create like this so this is one thing so not only with this one so if you want to create a reports or anything means so you can also create the reports like echo report underscore so you can use something like jan comma feb comma march underscore 2023 dot pdf if i want to do it like this then you'll be able to see see report jan 2023 report feb 2000 report march 2023 so like this you can you can use the different types of things so why brace expansion is cool means it serves the time avoid writing out the repetitive commands or the file names enhances the readability concise expressions make scripts cleaner flexible to you can reach you can generate numbers letters and combinations so this is what about the uh, brace expansion thing so hope you understood about this brace expansion concept so before closing this one i want to explain you about another one that is nothing but an arithmetic expansion in the linux so what is an arithmetic expansion arithmetic expansion is a feature in the linux shell that allows you to perform calculations directly within your scripts or commands this makes it extremely convenient to work with numbers without having to use external tools how to perform this ex uh, arithmetic expression is there are a couple of main ways to do this so normally for example if you want to do uh, arithmetic expressions means so here i can use echo dollar and you need to use the two braces two brackets like this and you can have one plus two so now it will print three so like this if you want to apply if you want to implement the arithmetic operations means we will be using it like this not only this one so what can i do is you can also implement the uh, three by two so you can also use it like this and you can also use something like three star two now if you try to see six it will come so now not only like this and here you can use three double star three this is an exponential format so three to the power of three now that means it will be 27 3 3 is 9 9 3 is 27 so like this you will be able to get the output so not only this one modulus also you can use it so the different arithmetic operations you can use it's so increment operator decrement operator and these all the things you can uh, use it so like this multiplication division module exponentiation increment equal less than greater than not equal to double equal to ampers and ampers logical and logical are these all the things you can use it so this is what i want to explain you regarding this uh, arithmetic expansion so this is small thing but the main important thing is the brace expansion which is important to learn so hope you understood about this brace expansion thing if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you